think that deep fakes are as significant to anyone as um, the problem of photoshopping an image to look like something else was when it first appeared, right? And people weren't aware that that kind of thing could happen to an image. Deepfakes, if you haven't heard about them before, they're basically a video that's been altered to something that's not real. Using artificial intelligence technology, people can take someone's face and voice and edit it over someone else's, and they can be very convincing and appear real. Deepfakes are already very much present online and in social media, but as Max Massey shows us, schools, professors, and computer scientists are already working to combat them. It's increasingly important, and it's not going to go away. Dr. Amanda Fernandez works at the UTSA Department of Computer Science. She teaches deep learning and artificial intelligence. And part of her subject matter is deep fix. Michael Geyer is a PhD student working in the Computer Science Department, and he's working to create programs to identify these counterfeit and manufactured videos. Right now, it is relatively easy to generate a deep fake that is believable and that very few people will have a way of identifying whether this is real or not. There's the old cliche, you can't believe everything you read, but now you can't believe everything you see and everything you hear. Anybody with a laptop and maybe a few hours of their time, if they're willing to dedicate it, could create anything they would like to use for the election um, coming up. So it is extremely important to be vigilant about the source of your news. One of the scariest parts is Professor Fernandez says these videos could become more and more popular and more prevalent on social media with the 2020 election just around the corner. What we'll do is the primary research to create these models, really detect and defend them, and they'll become the cybersecurity tools of tomorrow. And Dr. Fernandez hopes that these tools and the models that they're building can help everyday social media users. That way, when you log on to Facebook or onto Twitter, you won't be fooled by these fake videos in the first place. The end goal of this work would be to create not only a platform that any person can um, use on their own, but also something integrated into these platforms that scans through these videos and automatically alerts you saying, hey, this video was deep faked. Max Massey, KSAT 12 News.